All right, you already know what it is, Fourth Quarter Boy Sports. It is me, the illustrious one, Professor Lake, in the building, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Be a Fourth Quarter Boy for life. Hit that notification icon for me, dog. Get notified every time I flip out a video. So today we're going to talk about Chicago Bears, you know, trying to fill some holes, Ryan Poles, filling them holes. That's what we're going to talk about. So, you know, I went through a little mock draft earlier in the week and, uh, you know, he went ahead and took a look at the mock draft and was like, yeah, I do need a tight end and a cornerback, but I don't want to waste draft picks on him. So let me just go ahead and sign Tavon Young, cornerback from the Baltimore Ravens. He's five foot nine, 185 pounds. So in 2016, uh, he played 16 games, had two interceptions for uh, 22 yards returned. Uh, his longest return was 16 yards. Uh, and he had a uh, fumble recovery as well. 53, uh, 44 solo tackles, 53 in total, nine assists, obviously two tackles for loss, uh, one quarterback hit. But uh, it said, you know, that uh, he had a couple seasons where he missed a lot of time. I think that's in uh, 2017. It doesn't even look like they uh, have any kind of stat for him at all. 2017, I believe he was injured, and he also missed a lot of time in 2020. And, but last year, he was able to put together a full season. Uh, he started seven games last season, mind you, just to keep that in mind when you're talking about health. But uh, I looked at his tape, and, um, you know, for a little guy, you know what I'm saying, he's real sticky. I mean, he's not the type of person that's going to be burnt. Uh, for a, I want to say for a lot of yardage, but I don't see a lot of receivers uh, getting a whole lot of separation at what I saw on tape. Uh, he's kind of physical for a size as well. He will tackle you. We need some of that going on in our secondary because our tackling was up and down last season uh, in our secondary, and it just wasn't, you know, what I consider a bare defense. So, you know, I like the addition. You know, the fact that he's been in the league uh, this long, I would think that he has some veteran experience that maybe a rookie doesn't have when they come into the league. He may, the rookie might be more athletically talented, but uh, there's still some things to learn. And I think by bringing a guy like Tavon Young in, even with the young guys that we have now, uh, he'll be somebody that they can learn from, and especially the new cornerbacks that we bring in on the team, because I'm sure uh, there's going to be a lot of turnover. So the Bears also picked up a tight end named Ryan Griffin. Uh, he was playing for the Jets. Um, last season, he had played 14 games, had 27 receptions for 261 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, he's averaging 9.7 yards per catch. Don't know a whole lot about this guy, but um, he's been in the league since 2013, so he is a vet. He has been able to stick around. Uh, he had a prior tenure in Houston before joining the Jets. Um, let's take a closer look now. What kind of guy is this? You know, over the career, he's only had 14 touchdowns, and that's uh, from 2013 to 2021. So I'm, I'm not looking at him like he's going to really be helpful in the passing game, maybe more of a blocking tight end. Yeah, so uh, the Bears making signings, you know. Uh, Ryan Griffin, Tavon Young, welcome to Chicago, man. Hope you guys have really good seasons. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of turnovers by Tavon Young and uh, Ryan Griffin, you know. Let's block. Let's catch some touchdowns. All right? Fourth quarter boys sports. I'm out.